Breast cancer, like many other diseases, I think, in Africa, is considered a taboo. If we look at Juliet's um, case, her case is one of those unique ones because there's not been um, breast cancer in her immediate family, and she is the first to get it. This woman is a strong woman, one from which I could just, I've learned a lot from her. She's definitely a strong sister and I'm very proud of her. <laughs> Sorry, that's... She didn't have her, um, you know, her hair piece or a scarf in her head. And just seeing her without any hair, that really, you know, that really hit me. That really brought it to my attention. Oh my goodness. When she told me the story, the first thing she told me, she was like, when the doctor told me I had cancer, <laughs> I looked at him and I said, no, I'm going to be the one to raise my kids. And to me, that spoke volume. People do not take it well because back home, Cameroon, Benin, Nigeria, people don't understand it. And therefore, as they don't understand it, they find the simplest reasons to think that it is wrong, it is bad, it can be avoided by, I don't know, ridiculous things, whether it be a witch doctor or it be, you know, a voodoo doll or whatnot. I think it is important for us, especially we young, um, professional and educated people who are coming from the West and who have gotten the chance to get to see and know what options are out there, to go out there and share. And I think I'm a perfect example of what a lot of women are going through. And that's why this organization is so important because if me, you know, an educated woman living in the U.S. who has access to all of the best medical facilities, I'm afraid to go get a mammogram. Could you imagine a woman, you know, in Africa who has, you know, other things that she's worried about, taking care of her children, her family. Could you even imagine her having the thought of going somewhere to get checked? I will educate my girls, even with my boys. You know, as far as you have breasts on your chest, it's good to check it. I think it's so important to ha for us to have specific um, centers or clinics for women and, um, and maybe do some advertising, maybe starting at the high school level where every year, just like they tell you here in the U.S., we, should, we need to go to the doctor. When I, I was diagnosed, I was diagnosed in Michigan and um, had my surgery in Michigan, then moved down here due to the job that my husband got. I moved down here to Wisconsin. Other aunties were also there to support me. They were there at the time of surgery and um, constantly called to check on me. But this auntie who, who was a survivor knew what it was to go through breast cancer. So she was mainly there to encourage me, to give me hope and tell me the stages of treatment that I was going to be going through and what to expect from those treatment. I thought that was, you know, she's also like a mother to me. You know, I, I wouldn't say that I'm an exceptional. I was on the same ballpark with every other African woman out there, not being able to go have my physicals done, um, thinking that, oh, I'm not doing anything, so everything is perfect. I don't have to go for a checkup until breast cancer hit me. And it all bulges down to the health systems. That's why Courage Today is standing and speaking out and hoping that we get enough help, enough funding to help my people back home.
Show.